What's up guys? I'm going to be going over each rank that you need to do for all the explosive rifle challenges to be able to obtain the Master Exploder trophy. And I'll also be showing you how to do all the scraps or, you know, that are required for the U.S. Army outfit as well. Which you will need for rank 5, the last uh, rank that's required for the trophy. If you're new to the channel and you've never really seen any of my videos before, be sure to check out some of my content. I have I have loads of videos, um, many different games as well. Um, my playlists are pretty organized. They're not really you know, multiple playlists per game, so they're pretty easy to go through. When getting uh, these five kills, or you know the kills for some of these challenges. You can't do like the lawman, it'll have to be um, like one of these gang hideouts or a mission or something like that. Why not? Call. Cautious, aren't you? Check. I'm going all in. I'll spin it all wisely, I promise. Watch out for any suspicious activity. I jump them if you spot them. Might be good to follow that dog there.
Howdy, mister. Oh, I'd be honored to show you what's in stock. Most agreeable. That should keep me going. <laughs> Take care, sir. Howdy! How you doing? Howdy there! I'm feeling good about this. Wait for it. Three, two, one, go! I haven't even started yet. You're almost run through. Oh dear. Done yet. It's over. Get your bets done. Let's get this started. Three, two, one, go. Arm wrestling, you happy? Put some dollars on the table, then. I'm ready, fellas. Oh, Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you got? Uh, how you doing? Now go get a real kid got a beat you. You betcha. Here it comes. Oh, heck. Let's see what we're pulling for then. Ready? Three, two, 
One, go! Oh, I think he's slipping. Don't you know? I think he's nearly done. You beat me fair and square, partner. Good for you. Can I help you? Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts? Is that what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make New Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now we'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories, as well as melodramas for the ladies and even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. I'll see what I can do. I'm not much for high stakes gambles. The movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger. For real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. Well, if I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. Make sure you save the game right here, in case you lose, you can just reload the save so you don't lose out on uh, any money. If you were to lose and need to restart. I'll give it a try. Mm -hmm. There's Matt. Here's my bitch. Shit himself again. So says, I'll have to think about that one. Right here, I had a chance to declare a bid spot on or call his bluff, and I just went with the calling his bluff and took a chance right, of there not the being the one. amount that he said there would be. And I could have bid that there was four of a certain side of the die, but I only have one of each, so I didn't take that chance and just called his bluff anyway. And since right here I'm able to bid any number for a certain side of the die, I went with the two sixes. I could have chose the two fives, but if they called my bluff, I know for a fact there's two sixes that I have in my possession, so I wouldn't have lost the die. Hmm, I don't know. And for right here, he said there was five fours. I didn't even have one, so again, I called his bluff on it. Son, if he keeps taking it, 
I'm not very good at this, are you? Interesting. And right here, I'm able to bid that there's two of a certain side of the die. I could have bid there was two threes or two sixes. That would have been the best thing to do, either one. And I bid there was two sixes. And if they called my bluff, I wouldn't have lost the die either way. Okay, I bid. No, there's gonna be trouble at the bar this week. Well, well. How you doing? I swear. And right here, considering that I don't have any twos, I just went ahead and called his bluff on that one. You're bluffing for sure. Any pains today? Hello. How are you? Well, hello there. And right here, I went ahead and bid that there was two ones since I have two. They could have called my bluff on it, and I would have been fine. That Drew McFarland's been calling trouble again. And right here, instead of bidding that there's five of one of the other numbers that only have one of each, I just went ahead and called his bluff of there being five and took a chance. And since I'm able to bid that there's two of the six of the side of the die, I went ahead and bid that there's two because I know that I have two and they could call my bluff and I'd be fine. And right here, one of the other NPCs only have one die left. And I don't have any two, so I called their bluff because it's unlikely that one NPC has four of, you know, that side of the die. You lie so good, probably cheating too. And since I can bid, there's two threes, I do have two. I know that for a fact. He ends up calling my bluff, which I know there's two that I have in my possession, so I'm fine. Is that what you heard? Farewell. That's it. Hand it over. And since I have two fives, I'm gonna bid that there's two fives because I know that I have two. Here's my bid. And that's the, the best thing to do. He's going to call a bluff on that, and he's going to lose a die of his own. You know that old time and shit himself again? I'm just too honest to be good at this game. You want to spend some time with me? Butter bridge. How are you today? And right here, I have three sixes, so I'm going to bid that there's three sixes. And if he calls my bluff, then he loses a die, and I'm fine. That's a lie. How good it is to see you. There goes another one. Another wagon got robbed near Mescalero yesterday. What you doing? Right? Sounds like bad onions to me. Are you alone? Jack got tagged while he was dancing. He got in nice with that school teacher. She's got money. Plain and simple. Uh-huh. I'm leaving. Goodbye now. And right here I have two ones and I have two sixes. I'm going to say there's two sixes. Because I know for a fact I have two of each. Whichever, whichever I choose, he causes my bluff and he loses the die. very good at this, are you? Your face has never been for a You just can't figure. Can't. Only a big, strong man would come along to protect 
Those never sweats won't keep me from my business. Okay, I bid. Have your senses failed you? Right here, I called his bluff. And I took a chance on that. He ended up uh, having a two. So there was three twos. And I lost the die. But that's fine. Because I'm not trying to win the game without losing a single die. I'm just trying to win, period. I heard them rustles from Pike's face. And we're fine, to take my die. Safeway. I'll see Davis bones bleaching in the sun if he keeps Yay. taking pot shots. And right here... I know that I have two threes. I'm going to bid that there's two threes. And he ends up calling my bluff, which he loses a die and I win the game. Hello. Hello, Captain. Better luck next time, partner. I'm going to get my rifle back from the pawn shop come the end of next week. Most interesting. Uh, masterfully played, even good though good I say so myself. Interested? That Drew McFarlane's been calling trouble again. You can make good money for good meat over now. You called Spatchcock? Well, who's asking? Who do you think he's asking? Listen, partner. You stay cool, or I'll cool you down by putting a hole in you. Have you been practicing that line all week, fool? Don't make me come over there and teach you a lesson. Man, I hope you shoot better than you act tough. For that fool really will lose some money. Now get up and fight. to work then. On your way. Another adventure awaits you, I'm sure. Good luck. I trust the dice played in your favor. The next time you find the guy for the lights, camera, action, strangers mission, you'll find him at the Pacific Union Railroad Camp, and you'll need to save the game and advance in time at least five to seven days or so before he appears and I'm not sure if he pops up if you're far away you may have to come over here after advancing in time ah my rugged cowboy mr. McKenna what are you doing here I thought you were running a film company oh my boy how the fates have spurned me the muses cajole and lament my foolish nature. The hubris, the hubris! Well, it gets the best of us. I've lost everything. Every last dime I invested in that studio is gone. The production was delayed by weather. That fool Spatchcock fell in love with the cameraman and ran off to Canada. Damn you, the gods of bad weather! And the hearts of vain men. 
Guess I'll have to go and make dreams elsewhere. Well, good luck. It'll take more than luck to stop me. Leave me now, sir. I have... I was a little confused at first why I didn't get the trophy as soon as I killed an enemy, but uh, I guess they have to have the little red dot symbol showing up as an enemy before you actually do that. <laughs> <laughs> 